Welcome back, YouTubers. Father and Son's Train Room here. Mr. Tommy and Mr. Cody. We're back today. We're going to do some plastering. It's time to get some plaster down. This is stage one of plastering. You got to do it twice. But we're going to get the first layer down. And I think we're actually going to work on this side. I said in the last video, that side. But let's work on this side. Let's get the track ready. I want to get the track down, get it up and running before Christmas. So if I don't finish this side up on the mountain side, that's fine. We'll get to it later. But right now, we're going to at least try to get this much done. Um, hopefully, we'll have it all done by Christmas, all the plaster and all the track laid down. But we'll see. Um, just got a video uploaded on the paper. We've done paper over 101. So hopefully, here in a few minutes, we're going to bring the camera over here. I'm going to show you what I've done so far. Then we're going to get set up. We're going to get to rocking and rolling. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to the table. As you can see, I've got my tunnel access put in over here. I'm kind of let you see what I've got going on. I got a hole cut out in the back so the track can go on through. We're gonna put a rock face right there. We got it built up a little bit right here around the sides. I went ahead and I notched out down there the river bend where it comes out underneath the bridge. Got some paper stuff down in there. I went ahead and put a couple pieces of paper in right here so that uh, when we get ready to do the uh, lake down here, this will be ready. I think that's going to work out just fine. And you see right here, we went ahead and put some more platform back here. We want to get a few more buildings in. We're going to get all that nice and neat and level with uh, extra plaster. As you can see, I'm just kind of panning around. I went ahead and got my road bed beside the other track here ready. It's glued in, ready to go. Kind of got it set out how I want it to go. It's going to come up through here, come across, down through the industrial part, ease over, and go up to the main road to the city and the mountain. I got the dry river bed in there. I got it kind of wide. I might have to put in some more paper. I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and get the plaster down on top of this. And then we can always come back and add more paper and more plaster. So that's the plan up through there. That's going to be one of the tedious things to work on to get the waterfall just right and everything. Got all of that set up and ready. Coming down. Got all this in here. And then along the road bed, right here, there'll be, uh, we'll do some plaster and, and kind of cut some rock into the plaster. That's what I'm thinking we're going to do there. I was thinking about adding little boulders or something. You know, we'll, just, we'll see when we get there, but I think we're set and ready to go. So we're going to set the camera up on the tripod. I've already got my pre-cut stuff here. I got a lot more cutting to do. I got my trusty cutting board ready. I got me a mark set for how long I want it. <coughs> Nine inches, eight inches is plenty long enough. I know you think you can get more done the bigger it is, but I believe the shorter pieces is going to be easier to work with. And remember, you're going to overlap this, do this, do that, and then you're going to come back and put it again. And I want to do multiple directions. If it's going this way, the first time, I'm going to go this way the second time to uh, get a good hard shell. And eventually, this thing will be hard as a rock, and you ain't going to have to worry about tearing it up. We've already accidentally popped this off a couple of times working on the table, so I can't wait to get plaster cloth on this. The latest time it was made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Cody, he bumped it and broke it, and I bumped it and broke it. We all bumped it and broke it. Well, right now, it's still kind of flimsy. So let's get to work. We're going to start right back there, and we're going to get all that plastered in, and then we're going to work our way over to this end, and then we're going to work our way back around over there up to there into here in this video now this might be uh several clips i might even do a time lapse i'm not sure yet i'm thinking about it um Ooh, time -lapse. yeah time lapse with a little music in the background that sounds like fun 
there's more editing to do, but hey, that's part of it. All right, we're going to pause the video. We'll be right back. Okay, we got our plaster cloth ready. Remember, bumpy side up. You feel, you feel one side is smooth, one side is a little bit raised. That's the side that goes up. And you got to remember which way it is sitting here right now. I got the smooth is up. <coughs> so I pull, take it out. I dip it down in the water. Let it get good and wet. Mm. And remember, this is going to make a mess. You want to overlap the edge right back here about an inch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had to pause the video there for a second. I had a phone call. Um, you want to rub it in. You're not going to get all these little holes took care of the first round. Don't worry about that. It's the second round. After this is hardened up, then the second round, when you come back across, then you'll be able to really rub it in real good. So we'll start another piece here. I'm actually going to go on the inside. I know it's hard for y'all to see right here. We're going to paint all that black in there like we did over there in the tunnels. Once that's done, see, I now lay that over top of that one. And say once you lay one over top of the other, where the two met, it, it really it bonds in real good. And just kind of smooth out your joints there. Nice and smooth. Grab another one. If I can get that tripod over here or not, but we'll see here in a minute. Get down in there and push it around. It, it, it bonds it and it smooths real good to the edges. So it's not that hard to work with, man. It makes a mess. You get all that over your hands. You want to have some paper towels or something handy. I can certainly recall when they made that cake one time, and I had to use a lot of plaster. Mm-hmm. Then I lost it, then I found it. Because there was so much plaster on the inside. Even up here, now I'm going to leave this open. And then once I'm done painting right here, we're going to come back and we're going to put a top on it. Then I'm going to replaster that top now. We're going to continue this heel on up some to make it look more natural. But so I can get in here and work right now, we're going to leave this open. Just where the edges meet, smooth it out. Wrapping around my tunnel top here. Remember that your ground cover is going to cover a lot of your seams, but you don't want no big seams. But you want it everywhere. Don't leave no styrofoam exposed from one inch at the back throughout the whole thing. That's what's going to make the shell good and strong. And once again, remember, bumpy side up. And 
construction says about one inch overhang on the back. And so if I'm doing the back, I go ahead and do it. Smooth out the top. Take the cloth, go down inside. Now these ridges right here are hard to work with. This right here is going to be a rock face. I got one of the pieces I showed you in a previous video we're going to use down in there. It goes right here. Kind of make it look, you know, a little more realistic going in right here. You want to like they cut all this out. And then this is just a backdrop. Alright, we're going to put this on the bottom of the track. And then you might have to cut some smaller pieces. I see a spot I'm going to have to put a smaller piece in. I got my little hobby knife here ready to go. Here in a minute, we'll grab our little cut board. I remember I'm gonna lay it smooth up right now. I just need a little small piece like that. Flip it over, get my pumpy up. We're gonna get this part done right here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Then once I get over here, we're going to do another clip on this side so you can see real close what I'm doing. It's a little tight here in the train room. I didn't quite make it big enough to do all this work, but we're compromising. Get another big piece. Looking good back in there. Let's see where them two overlap. Boy, you can get them holes filled up real easy. You know, once you're on the paper, it's hard. Look at that, already getting hard right there. It's looking good. It is actually looking good. I have to admit. Mm -hmm. Been waiting to get this part done for a while. It's time consuming, tedious. I mean, I'm going to do a lot of this not on the video. But a lot of work. Now, I believe out here it's going to be a lot easier. It's flat and smooth. I think we've been waiting ever since January. <laughs> yeah, we've been a good while waiting to get this much done. Yeah. It's nearly been 11 months since January. Yeah, I know. A lot of work around the farm. Tending the horses and chickens and goats and all the goodies. Dogs, cats, dogs, and, and even tur even turkeys. Remember to dip your fingers in the water, and the wetter your hands are, now your hands start getting dry. The more aggravating this is to do. Try to rub out as much of that plaster as you can. Kind of wish it had more plaster on it. All right, we got the inside pretty much done. Got a little spot right here. I think the small piece I cut right here will work. Lay that across the top right here. all around that tunnel port there.
piece going right there. This part of the video is already running a good five minutes here. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this part done. Also, going around the tunnel, the tunnel horn edges actually reminds me of something. So, me and my sister yesterday, we were building the Harry Potter train set. And when I looked at the tender, I realized that one of the stickers, the stickers was upside down. <coughs> Alright, so I had to pause the video again. I'm sorry about that. Still see a little bit of styrofoam here, so we're gonna cut a small piece to wrap around right here. As I'm cutting, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna keep it still smooth down. And I, in the meat, it's cause when I pick it up, I flip. If you put smooth up, it just makes you do, <laughs> work a lot harder to do. And if you feel it starting up, when you move your fingers back and forth and it follows you, your fingers are dry. So you want to keep your fingers wet. And like I said, don't be too worried about the first layer. Because... <coughs> This video is going to be a long one. Anyway, here we go. And if you didn't get it wet enough, get some more water. Sure, it submerged completely. All right, coming along pretty good. Use this other little small piece right here. Get this part right here done. Then I'm gonna bring the camera over and show you what it looks like after get it all plastered in. Here in just a second. More reaches and pop up if you want to. Smooth them out as much as possible. Like I said, you want to smooth out as much of this plaster as you can. If you see any open gaps, you want to close it up. If you have to cut smaller pieces, that's fine. Remember, I'm not a pro. <laughs> By no means. But hey, if you, just, if you want to do it, just be creative with it. That's it. Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Looks good to me. It's the world's greatest hobby. <laughs> you can have whatever the heck you want to do with it. 
That's right. And this thing comes with four packs of plaster cloth. Wait, it came with four packs? Yeah, it takes a lot of plaster cloth. And I'm not getting nothing on the floor, but when we get ready to start painting, we got some uh, uh, old shower curtains that I want to put down on the floor to keep from uh, getting my floor paint on and stuff. You know, you want to protect your floors too while you're doing this. Hold one in if you can and run your fingers back and forth with the flow because if you go too much like this you're pulling the cloth back. You don't want to do that. That is more work for you. Like I said, make sure everything's fully submerged. You want each cloth to overlap a little bit and then form out the direction you want. I think I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to put some more paper right in here. I'm not liking the way that's turning out. So we're going to pause the video and I'll bring you back to show you the finished product over here. Be right back. All right, we're back. Let's excuse my light here. It ain't real bright. This camera ain't the greatest. But anyway, you see I've got all that in there plastered up real good. All the way over to here. All that right there. Then I'll come back and I've added some more paper. Actually, I want to kind of keep this little ridge hidden. So we're going to build up and go over and back down. So I'm going to go ahead and do this part off camera and then we're going to come back to that corner right there and bring you back see you in a few
Okay, here you have it. I've got that much done back there. The first layer's done. I even went up on the side of the hill. Some of you know it's going to be hard for you to see. I had to turn the camera a couple times. But anyway, there you have it. Um, I like that right there. It's going to turn out real good on what I've done right there. Adding that extra paper right there. Oh yeah, that's going to look real good back there. I'm going to put some trees up on that. I might add a little more right in there. It's pretty... No, I think we're good right here. We're just going to gradually go up like we did right there. And you see there's a lot of holes still be visible. You know, it's once you put the second layer on, it'd be real good. I might have to buy more plaster cloth. Because look, first roll is done. Um, so we're going to take a break and we'll come back and we'll start on this side. See you soon.